Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to today's video. So we're doing another Makeup Monday video. Of course, uh, lately I have been kind of doing chit chat videos. Uh, today's going to be a chit chat video, but it's also going to be a get ready with me. I am going to pick up my son from school here soon. Uh, my daughter is sleeping. Actually, she was sleeping, but she woke up um, because I came up the stairs and We've been kind of having these like sleep troubles because she's got all of her teeth coming in, all of the molars are coming in, so it's been really, really difficult. And um, again, this video is like really current because today is, what day is it today? <laughs> today is Wednesday and um, I'm filming this video for the upcoming Monday. So I'm going to film um, today, like Monday's video for today, I'm filming it. We'll be editing it on Thursday, which is tomorrow. And then on the weekend, I'm going to be doing the Monday after. And then I think the one after that will be a date night look. So I'm going to have at least two videos kind of ahead of schedule. And that's going to help me um, because I feel like I feel like I've been off my, my schedule a little bit. Like I, I used to be so well prepared and now I feel like things are just kind of like kept like they're slowly catching back up, like with my blogs with my makeup channel. So I just, I feel like I need to do a little bit more prep work. And um, yeah, I'm starting to feel like a little bit behind. So I need to find some serum. I thought I pulled some out, but I guess I did not. So I'm gonna use my Tarte Mermaid Skin um, Serum. This stuff is really old. Like usually, oops, I do wanna like kind of talk about a few things. So usually when there's like a Sephora haul, I guess, I don't know, like I said before, I always tend to buy like new makeup. So there's like new eyeshadows or lipstick or something like that. But I really need to stop buying eyeshadow palettes. Like I, my channel is never going to be like, unless I win the lottery, my channel is never going to be like um, somebody who consistently buys new makeup all the time and does reviews on it because it's just way too unaffordable for that. Um, unless I was like making money from this channel, which I won't be for like a very long time, if ever. And yeah, I feel like um, it's just, it's a little bit unaffordable. And because like I only do one video a week, I don't know if it's like worth it for me to do something like that. Because I, I do like doing product reviews. I like seeing how the makeup performs and stuff like that. I just... I mean, ever since I started my makeup, I've usually been always using older palettes. But speaking of older palettes, I know in the last like couple videos, I mentioned that I had gone through all my makeup and I had decluttered everything. And I'm pretty happy with where, like where I'm at right now. I think the only thing I went through that I actually used and didn't really find worked well was my um, Smashbox primer. It was kind of doing this weird beady up on the skin thing and I didn't like it. So I think I'm going to have to get a new primer. I think that's like the only one that I have that potentially kind of filled pores other than the like, rare beauty one that I have. But that one literally was just a sample and I think it's almost gone. Actually, I really like that one. And I wouldn't be, not that I really, I don't think I need any new foundations for the, the haul because I do have a lot and like you'll see today I'm actually starting to mix some foundations because my skin is not that weird well first of all I don't really think I have any like really light foundations I usually buy all of mine that are like more tan because my skin tone is more tan than usual it's like a normal like a medium I've been mixing my like tart light golden in with everything just because it's the lightest one I have because I bought that one too light and so that's actually good. I was going to get rid of it and I'm glad I never did because yeah, that would have probably not been a very good idea. So speaking of, I'm going to mix my Tarte, what is this one? The Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. That's 22G Light Golden. I'm going to mix it with my Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I have been really enjoying mixing foundations and like I know some people don't like that, but sometimes I do suck at picking out the right shade for myself and it's not even that it's just that my skin tone tends to change right like depends how much sun I get and how much sunscreen I use throughout the uh the summer 
but usually I tan and like I was really tan this summer and um I guess the problem with that is I actually never even had a foundation that matched my skin tone at all when it was like high summer so I had to use like lots of bronzer and we didn't really go anywhere anyway like I think I only went on literally maybe like maybe six date nights maybe five date nights this entire summer because of course Chad's been working but yeah so when it comes in terms of like the Sephora Rouge haul so I think it's actually coming up on November 5th I was doing some research the other day because it's like what I do I tend to make my list of makeup that I want usually a couple of weeks before the haul because and I don't really try any samples or anything like I don't try any of the makeup on I just order it and then if I really don't like it I send it back and there's lots of perfumes I want but I don't really want to waste my budget on perfumes because that would eat it up really really quickly but yeah there are some <laughs> there's a whole bunch of new ones I want but uh, most of them were on that list my my perfume wish list. I'll link that video if you want to check it out. But most of the ones I'm interested in are on that list. There's there's some makeup that I kind of want to refresh. I wouldn't mind getting a new Cuddly Beauty Elixir. Um, I think I need, like I said, I think I need a new primer. I wouldn't mind trying out a Benefit primer because I I haven't used any any Benefit primers. Um, I'm trying to think what else I'd like to have. Maybe new liquid eyeliner because I have my Too Faced Better Than Sex I bought like in spring of last year. Is it spring of last year? No, fall of last year. And then the Rare Beauty one I got in spring of this year. So I haven't really bought much new makeup. I think I bought a few things, but not much outside of the, the last sale, which was the spring VIB haul. So yeah, I wouldn't mind getting a few new products, but I'm just going to like there's one girl that you could watch if you were interested and you um, were looking for, for some recommendations. Like, obviously, Angela Bright. I always like watching Angela. But Ellie Gleans is a really, really good choice because she, she tests a lot of makeup and she knows what she's talking about. Okay, I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using my Kosas Concealer. It doesn't have anything else in the, the container. I know there's got, like, another name, but it's this one here with the yellow cap. This is 05. Can't remember what it's called. It's gonna bug me now. I'm just gonna go right in with the applicator and I'm gonna put it under my eyes. The one thing I noticed with this concealer, oh yeah, no, that's what I was saying. Uh, the Rare Beauty Concealer. I wanna try the foundation again. I think I picked a color that was just not my shade and I didn't like it, but I wanna try it again. But yeah, this one, I, I really like the Kosas products too. I was like pleasantly surprised. This feels really wet to me. I mentioned that before. Like you'll see when I blend it out, it's like glistening on my skin. And I guess it's not a bad thing. I am gonna use like the one size powder to set it though. I guess I don't mind it. And it does well for wrinkles. Like I'm not creasing at all. I really like my skin. Like I like mixing that foundation in. It just kind of gives me this really nice glowy effect. And like I'm kind of done with the glowy glowy effect, especially for winter. Like my, my skin gets really dry. I already have dry skin to begin with. And it's almost like I should technically go for like a lighter look in winter because my skin is drier. But I always tend to use more powder. Does that make sense? I don't know probably doesn't really doesn't make sense I should be doing it the other way but then in summer is when I use less makeup I don't know so I always check my forehead wrinkles because my creasing creasing is really bad on my expression lines there so I'm going to use brush a brush I usually go in with a brush I'll take my f35 I'm pretty proud of myself because I finally cleaned my brushes last night because I knew that I was going to be doing my makeup today and it was on my list for like the last, oh god, the last like two weeks or so. Well, I guess technically since date night because I did that rainbow look. I'll link that video too if you guys want to take a look. Um, honestly, I'm, I was like all obsessed with like 
the palettes from Anastasia Norvina, like the pro, pink, pro pigment palettes. I was like, oh yes, they're like so cool because the colors are so beautiful. And I wanted to own them all. But you know what, you guys? The shadow isn't very good. I do not recommend that palette. Colors are beautiful, but they do not blend with the darn. Like you really have to work at it, I find. I've done like three looks already and I was not happy. Okay, I'm not gonna use much powder, but yeah, that was the one size by Patrick Starr. Um, who was it? Painted by Spencer, really, like he uses this powder often. Maybe I'll put a little bit more under the eyes. Um, he says this powder has like a blurring effect. I don't really notice any difference compared to any other powder that I use. Yeah, there's so many things that like I've been doing lately. Um, so one of them, um, I did actually hit a thousand subscribers on my other channel. If you guys are part of that, I just want to say thank you so much. And um, any support that you've given me, it's really helped me out. And I'm really excited to kind of see where the future takes me and like see where I can grow. Um, the YouTube monetization process was really, really quick. So I've heard it said that it can take like up to a month or something. And for me, it took 24 hours. So um, I was super impressed by that. I was like really scared and nervous that it would take forever. But yeah, it took 24 hours and um, it was kind of awesome. Like Oh, my eyebrows are flaking. That's the other thing I forgot to say is that um, my skin, it's been so dry. I did exfoliate. I haven't been exfoliating. I know I preach about exfoliating all the time and I haven't been doing it. And uh, so I did, except apparently my eyebrows didn't get exfoliated. The only two that I really, really love so far are the Anastasia one and the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Those are like my two favorites. And like, I'm really happy with them. I'm not really in the market for any new brow products. So I'll probably just get a replacement. But I think what would be a smart idea to do is actually like go through all of the types of products I use, like kind of in order where I go like primer, foundation, concealer, etc., And then like kind of write down what I need and then kind of also just write down like anything that I just want because like I I do have a budget like I'm kind of limited so I can't just go spend like a thousand dollars in the sale and uh yeah so I'm just gonna have to write down make a list for myself I guess but brow products might be one of them definitely a black eyeliner and maybe a shadow I've been itching to get my hands actually on a Natasha Denona palette. I still don't have one. I think my favorite one, obviously like my favorite color is purple. My favorite one that I, isn't the love palette. It's like the, the purple, is it the Lila? I think it's called the Lila palette, but it's like purple and pink. It's so pretty. And my left eyebrow needs a little bit of work. Okay, so I think that is good. But yeah, if I'm down to like one of these, I use brow products every single time I do my makeup. So I think it'd be beneficial to, to get more. Um, for my brow gel, I'm good. Actually, the colored brow gel, I might need more too. But uh, I do have this clear one from Benefit. I like this stuff. This is really good. It does hold your hairs in place. See, the problem is I have so many contour products, like older products that I'm not ready to part with yet. I have, like I said, I have already gotten rid of all my makeup. I've gone through it and determined what I want to keep and what I want to like throw out and or give away. And I don't need any more blush, but it's always nice to like pick up on new stuff and just to kind of take a look and see what is out there. So I'm going to warm up the face a little bit with my Fenty bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. And I like using my Ariza, Roxette Ariza brush. This is all by Sigma. It's just like a special edition brush. I'm not really gonna like contour per se, but I just want to warm up the face a bit. 
and I always just kind of stick to the perimeter of my face just to warm up my forehead a bit. I want to talk a little bit about last date night. <laughs> you guys, it was like, it wasn't Chad's my anniversary. It had already passed like a week before actual date night. Well, I guess we were kind of celebrating um, our, our anniversary. And also we were celebrating because I had almost hit a thousand subscribers. I think that night I was sitting at like 999. And so we got some people from the bars and stuff to subscribe. And I think that's kind of what like put me over the edge, but, um, I got really drunk. <laughs> I, I, um, actually got so drunk that I got sick and that hasn't happened in a long time, but I do want to take advantage of it. Like until like, I'm hoping that they don't close karaoke. Um, with like everything that's going on with COVID right now. So I hope they don't close karaoke down, but you never know right before Christmas they might. And um, so we're just trying to take advantage of going out and singing and having a few drinks. Still gotta wear your mask in the bar, but when you sit down at your table, you can take it off. But we had fun. We ended up playing some pool towards the end. We stayed right to the end. Like I think it was like three o'clock in the morning we stayed, but it was so much fun. And uh, just the next day wasn't as fun because I had a really bad hangover. Um, but the fact that I actually was in the mindset of like not getting all, not depressed because I don't get depressed. I just get into this like, oh, let's not even bother going. And I'm glad I didn't do that because we had so much fun. For blush, I'm using my Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is like one of my first, I think not one of my first, I think this is my very first blush palette. Like crazy, right? Like I've still, I still have it. I'm going to use the two middle shades, I think, or maybe this one here and this one. It's Tropic Like It's Hot and a Pink Wink. Maybe all three of them. Why not? But yeah, so we had a really, really good time. Uh, we went to this place called O2s at first and... We basically just had a drink. I had what's called a bulldog. So they have like this slush mixture, which has a shot of some kind of alcohol. I think mine had like vodka because I couldn't really taste it. And then they put like either a beer or they put, uh, mine had, um, an, uh, what, what was it? Some kind of iced, hard iced tea. And then I drank that. And then we got a free shot from the, from the waitress because she said, here's to you guys celebrating your anniversary, which was really sweet of her. And so we had that and we had, I think we shared like this, like Bandera bread stuff, like an appetizer. Um, it wasn't the, the greatest, but like, it was really nice, like just to eat something just, you know, I'm glad I eat that at least. And then after that, we were a little late for karaoke, but we went to karaoke and it was fun. We saw the host and like, he knows us and it was just nice to like kind of catch up and stuff. And we sang some songs and like, I sang new songs. I sang a couple by Dua Lipa. They're like the only karaoke place that actually has new music. So I'm really happy with that. There's this other place we go to that's close by too. And um, I'm just like really happy to be able to have the chance to sing new music. Okay, so I think it's time for eyes, you guys. I totally rhymed. I'm gonna use this guy. This is like, old like this is again one of the first well not the first but like within the first maybe 10 palettes that I bought when I started getting into my makeup two years ago like again yeah this is from MAC it's called Mischief Minx and I do have the Pretty Punk palette in that one that was like oh god like the first maybe the fifth or sixth makeup look I'd ever done on my channel and it got so many maybe, maybe it was more than that but it got so many views and I was surprised because I was like, this is, you know, it's, it was funny, but I'm, I'm trying to go for like this neutral, neutral look. So I'm going to start with this palette and I'm pretty sure this is a topper. I'm just going to try it here. Pretty sure it's a topper. Yeah. It's really light. You can barely even see it. So, oops, I just put my finger in the brown. Um, To be honest, there's not really a neutral. This is also a topper. I'm going to start with this color and just see what it looks like in the crease. I'm going to use a really fluffy brush. I'm going to try to blow this out as much as I can. 
maybe I'll use a black E. I think this is an E40. It's like the same thing as the E35, but it's a black bristles instead of the white. So we'll go in with this orange color. It's actually a shimmer. I never go in with shimmer, but I want to see what it looks like. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else I can uh, tell you guys. Like I, I actually did have some notes written down this time, but that was pretty much it. I'm trying to think if there's any other makeup that I want. Um, other than like, there's like Laneige Sleeping Lip Masks. I think I mentioned that last time though. It was the the cinnamon one or the peppermint one and the gingerbread. Um, I actually, they, I'm really sad they don't sell it anymore and I wish I'd bought more of it now was the, the chocolate mint one. That's my favorite. And those things are huge, you guys. Like it can take a person a long time to get through using one of those pots of lip gloss. And I've used my entire chocolate mint, like the whole thing. The last one I bought was my peach iced tea, which is right here. I use it um, before makeup. That's one of my favorites, but I also have this one. I think this is sweet candy. I have the original, I've got vanilla. I'm pretty sure I've got the apple lime, which is also really nice. I did buy my mom the lemon one for Christmas last year. Um, I'm in love with all of them. I really like this color. It's a bit sparkly, which I'm not really used to putting in the crease. But it's kind of like pushing the light up a little bit, and I like that. I'm going to put it on the lower lash line too. I'll use a smaller brush. I will use an E25 or an E27. I'll use an E25. Um, I'm not looking at any makeup brushes quite yet. I want to wait till I get some more money. But, uh, and I honestly, guys, I haven't been doing my makeup enough. I've been doing my makeup once a week for this channel. That's it. So I don't think I need any more makeup brushes right now. But there is some makeup from Sigma that I'd be interested in getting. So I love the Cora de Rosa palette that I have. That's the first palette from Sigma that I ever bought. And I love it so much. And they have all those other like palettes out. And I kind of wish I could buy those too. There was one point. I mean, they might do it again. Sigma is so amazing. I love their products. But last year they had like this... Um, what did they call it? It was like a bundle. So you could buy like tons, like, well, not tons. It was like all four of the palettes that they currently had. Now they think they've got an extra one, maybe more. I'm not sure. But I already had the Cord de Rosa. So what I was going to do with that was give it away um, on my channel. And I ended up not catching the, the due date. There was actually free shipping. And then the next day I was like, okay, I'm going to order it tomorrow. And then the free shipping was gone. So I was like, ah, oh, screw it. I'm not going to buy it. And now I really wish I had of. So before I go any further, I'm going to go in with my eye pencil now. Um, I've got two in front of me. I've got this gold one and I've got, so editorial is more like a bronzy color. And then I've got regal, which is a gold color. So I'm just wondering which one to go with. I think I'll go with editorial. I just have to sharpen it. I usually go for like dark brown when I'm doing these types of looks. This is a really pretty color. This is the Morphe pencil, by the way. They're like super cheap. They're only like $4 a piece. So I'm just going to line my water line and we'll be right back. Okay, so I almost, I actually just added a little bit of this pencil like underneath the lower lash line. And I'm going to take um, some kind of brush. Don't know which one yet. Some kind of like smudging brush. I'll take this smudger. I don't think it has any other color on it. This is the E21. I'm going to dip it into that same color that I was using. They don't have names on them, but like this color here. Such a pretty color. And I'm just going to like smudge it out. That's really, really pretty. Okay. So then I think next what I'll do is go in with this like ready brown color. Um, I don't really want to darken it up. I just want to like, I want to have color on my eyes. I think another palette I'm, I want to go in with is 
the um, Tati Beauty palette because I haven't used that palette in a long time. And I really do appreciate it. I really like it. So I'm going to use the E25 I was working with before. And I'm going to start on my crease. And I guess I'll use this just to darken things up a bit. It actually doesn't really seem to be doing much, to be honest. I'm kind of like, it's kind of weird. But I do have that nice, like, blown out look. I, I really do like that. So I'm just going to go back in with my fluffy brush, go back into that first color I was using, and then, like, dust it pretty much everywhere. So I want it to be, like, I guess more bright. I don't want it to, like, dim down at all. And now I need to choose between this one or this one. I think we'll go on with this one. I'll use my finger. It looks a bit more orange to me. That's definitely more sparkly. I think I like that. And I think we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and line my upper lash line with my Rare Beauty Matte Black Liner. This is the perfect stroke liner. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do lips too. Usually I don't do lips. And before we go, oh, you know what? I'm going to use this weird, I think this is maybe a blush, but I'm going to use this on my cheeks. Because I feel like now my cheeks are too like pink and my eyes are more orange. So let's use it on a cheek. Oh, it's kind of like a nice shimmery glue. That's not bad. Ah. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know where that came from. Look, I've got this big black bit on my face. Okay, so lips, I'm going to darken with lip liner. I'm going to use Bite Me from Morphe. Okay, and then I'm going to use like this really old lipstick. So this is a Too Faced lipstick. It's like the... This is called Skinny Dippin' and it's like this natural nude. Um, I think I've got like four other ones, believe it or not. So this is just like a beautiful nude color. I think that's perfect together. I'm going to go ahead, pile on the mascara and do lashes, and we will be right back to see the completed look. I think that's it, you guys. Like, look at those lashes. Aren't they just gorgeous? I think they're my favorite lashes I have used probably ever. Like, that's saying a lot. Um, and I always want to say these are the cow lashes because that's what I've used, like, forever. But they're not. These ones are the Kiss Lashes a Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection, and these particular ones are Brazier, Brazier, and they're just gorgeous. My husband bought them for me two years ago, or no, last Christmas, so just a year ago, uh, for Christmas, and I think they're just so gorgeous. So the last step is, of course, well, two steps, highlighter, inner corner highlight, and then setting spray. So I'm going to use my favorite. This is my Mary Lou by the Bomb. Such my favorite, like, my first hit pen palette of anything ever. I always highlight the inner corner. I'm not going to use much here because I think the look is already gorgeous. I used to hate, do you guys, like for those of you who have been with me since the beginning, kind of coming from my other channel, do you remember when I say I hated neutrals? Because I did say that. <laughs> I said I hated neutrals. 
and now like it's like my taste has changed I just I love neutrals I love shimmer though I, I still do love shimmer and so if I can find like neutral bronzes and and uh gold and brown it's just so pretty is it so fall I love it I want to start doing some more like more red toned makeup I need to find something like that okay I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter to my cheek and my nose Just a little bit and then we need to go in the setting spray I'm using my urban decay all nighter I think I still have like two full bottles like the full-size bottles of like in a pack from last Christmas I still have that plus the one I'm using let me double check because it's gonna bug me now yeah I still have two more so setting spray we're good I'm pretty sure we're good the only one that I kind of like that I used as a setting spray but I don't really know if it is well it says it is but is this one this one's like I might have like a third left but I really do like the hangover rx one three three hangover three in one rx anyway you guys that is it for this look what do you think it's such an old palette I want to get like I like the Natasha Denona bronze palette too. I think that looks really pretty. That's it. I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe. Click the bell button. We'll see you guys next time.